welcome back to Mini Mayhem on the Roundtable. I'm Ostrich Vox, and let's talk about Schooled. Airing this upcoming Saturday, a lot of people are not excited for this episode. A lot of people are saying it's Ponyhead filler. And a lot of people don't like Ponyhead, which I get, but also don't get. Look, I know Ponyhead was very annoying in season one. I did not, I was not fond of her back then. But I feel like throughout seasons two and especially three, she has developed, she has improved. At least her comedy and jokes. Is she still self-centered? Yes, but they really learned how to make it work with the show's comedy. But I get why she just shows Ronaldo. Why fans groan when it's a Ponyhead episode. But don't just think this is a Ponyhead episode, because I have reason to believe that Meteora Butterfly will appear in this episode. Yes, Meteora Heinous will be here, and she is going to wreck things up. The direction of this promo is very misleading. They want you to think it's just some goofy one-off adventure. So let's break down the promo. I'm back! On an old new star was the forces of evil! I need to brunch, and then I need to party. Pronto! You're gonna have to take the exam. I gotta take a waffle test! What are the four pillars of brunch? Waffles. Eh, uh, eggs, obviously. Uh-huh. B-b-b-b-bacon? Yeah? Hold on, I it's on the tip of my tongue. Uh, uh. Uh, Will Pony pass the test? Find out on an all-new Star vs. the Forces of Evil next Saturday at 11 on Disney XD! The synopsis of this episode reads, Ponyhead returns to St. O's and finds that the curriculum got tougher. Now from that, you may assume it's gone back to the old ways when Heinous was in charge. That it's going to be a dictatorship, but that's not the case. Not at all. From what we can see here, the effects of the episode Princess Sardina is coming into play here. Marco's speech about needing rules and regulations, the way he actually felt, seemed to really touch all the students. So it's still a party school, but they've made a curriculum and rules and regulations around the partying. Demonstrated here when Ponyhead has to take an exam on brunch, dubbed as the Waffle Test. And you can see here the books say Bacon 101, and this one right here makes out gossip. God, I just love that. Only Star can make that kind of humor work and actually amuse me. And it appears that Princess Arms is kind of taking Hainus' place as headmistress, or at least has an important role of power. She's the one issuing the test to Ponyhead. And I believe these shots here of Ponyhead partying are after she passes her exam. The crown she's wearing in this shot may be certification of her being a party princess. But that's the thing, this entire episode is not going to be some exam for Ponyhead to prove she's a party animal. It's a framing device, it's a misdirection, and it's a distraction. So when Meteora appears, you'll be surprised. But no, if you're watching this video, you won't be surprised, you'll be anticipating it, craving it, demanding it. But why am I so sure Meteora's gonna appear in this episode? Two reasons. One, every single episode that's taking place at Sano's has had Meteora Heinous appear in some way, shape, or form. Not to mention, this is the first time we've gone to Sano's twice in a season, and we're going there after the events of Monster Bash. We're going back there now for a reason. Second, the synopsis for Tough Love, which airs next week, so it's one of the episodes after these two. The synopsis for Tough Love reads, Eclipse and Moon bring Princess Meteora home peacefully after the massive destruction she's caused. Massive destruction? That does not sound like that'll happen off screen. And going by the synopsis for both Foof Buddies and Bamu Potty, I don't see the mass destruction happening in any of those episodes. It could only be here. And of course, it makes the most sense for it to be Sano's. It was the school she used to run. She had power and authority, and it was taken from her. But now things are different. Now she has recollection that she's the most powerful monster in Muni. And if her former students won't listen to her, she'll just make them listen to her. Almost forgot to mention, this shot of the promo I originally speculated to be a flashback, a glimpse of Meteor's past, her transformation, but all this consider, especially the background art, as vague as it may be, this could actually be Meteor in present day transforming in St. O's in this episode. A glimpse into her true, final transformation. And if this is the case, pray for Ponyhead, y'all. Unless you don't like Ponyhead, then... Get the popcorn ready. And at this point, I want to mention it looks like Star and Marco will not be in this episode. It's just a Ponyhead solo adventure. The synopsis doesn't mention Star. Star is nowhere to be seen in promos. This is going to be an off-screen event, but Ponyhead will witness it. And if she's lucky, escape so she can inform Star what just happened. Probably something like, oh my god, BFF. Miss Heinous like totally showed up to the school and started wrecking everything and <laughs> she ruined my brunch. I think that's how Ponyhead speaks. 
also a storyboarder, Ariel said that this was a fun episode with a very cheeky emoticon. Like a wink wink nudge nudge, which again, leads me to believe it's not just gonna be pony head shenanigans. Meteora will strike and she will reclaim St. O's. But are you hyped for this episode just as much as I am? Please let me know in the comments below or tweet your thoughts really to me at Ostracmods. You can follow the Roundtable on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all at Roundtable Vids. And if you want to help us grow, consider joining the Roundtable and becoming a member on our Patreon. For just $3, you can get your name at the end of the video like all these wonderful people, get access to our avatars, our scripts, our daily updates so you know what's going on at the Roundtable, what's coming. And we want to grow and add even more awesome perks. Link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please sort of like, share, and if you're new here, subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications to stay in the loop with all things Star. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a beautiful day. Ostrich Vox, signing out.